Ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to be rich in Roblox. Zero Robux is not cutting it anymore, bro. And another thing I know I wanted to do was make a game that would somewhat do good and make me money. But I also didn't know how to make a Roblox game. And I knew there was tutorials to do all this, but I put so much hours into watching these tutorials and trying to learn that I never figured out. How can I make a Roblox game fast and easy? Simple, two letters, AI. Artificial intelligence, or AI, what you may know it as. AI is slowly taking over. You can do just about anything with AI. One thing that I wanna know if you can do with AI is making a Roblox game. The first thing that I actually started to do was start the timer before I even start anything. Now the next step is actually asking ChatGBT to write me a script that will give me 1 plus speed every second. And to follow up that script, I had ChatGBT also make me a leader stat that follows that 1 plus speed every second. That script that ChatGBT gave me actually didn't work, so I had to rephrase exactly what I said, which took off a few minutes of my time. While waiting for ChatGBT to actually write their script, I went ahead and started building the map a little bit. Once I had a little bit of the map done, ChatGBT was done, so I went ahead and copy and pasted all the code into the correct spots. One thing that I do like about ChatGBT is it actually tells you exactly what code and what scripts to add to the game. If it's a local script or if it's a normal script to add. And it explains what the scripts actually do at the parts in the script. Now that we have it actually working, as you can see the leader stats are working. We start at zero speed and it goes up by one second. I never mentioned exactly what I was trying to do in this game. So I'm going to try to draw it out real fast. So I have my little person right here and what he has to do is actually make it to the end of this little obstacle course to get one plus win. Each win that you actually do get will add one more speed every second. As you can see I put the one plus speed because that's what you start out with and every win you get is one plus speed added to that one plus speed that you originally start with. I do want to have a working leader stat system also that's why I wrote leader in the top right. And if we do have enough time by the end, I do want to make a working rebirth system with all of this, which when you rebirth, it will pop up on your screen and it, you will get one plus rebirth. This rebirth will actually make it so you get two wins every time and it will just be an infinite cycle of that every time. Since we only have one hour, that's all I expect that we can actually end up doing. We already shaved off about 10 minutes of our time, so now that we have 50 minutes left, we need to lock in and get this all done. We're going to add a spawn point now, and then we're going to make it transparent, and then we're also going to remove the logo on it so everything works fine there. I spent the next 13 minutes focusing on the map. As you can see, the first thing that I did was add a fence around the border, so it made it feel more like you can't fall off the map. After I realized that the map was way too big, I had to resize it and move all the fence and all the borders all around so it fit the map again. After that, I then made two rows or will be known as obstacles. I hope no pro developers actually end up seeing this because this is so bad. But anyways, I started adding some invisible barriers from the toolkit. I, I, it's not from the toolkit if anybody else asks. I know I could have just done a block, made it transparent. I added that from the toolkit because it actually seemed like a better idea at the time. Now it's time to add a win part at the end of this. This win part will actually give us one plus win, as it's called the win part. Then I asked ChatGPT to make me a win script and a leader stat for the win script and the one win will give me one plus speed every time I get the one win. 37 minutes remain, I think we're on a good track right now. After that I actually went into the game to test out the win system and look at the leader stats to see if it's actually working. Then I asked ChatGPT to actually make me a save data script so that every time you leave and rejoin your data saves. Upon making it to the end and hitting the green button, you get one win every time but I want it to actually reset you to spawn once you hit that one win. It does work, but it's not what I wanted because I didn't type it out to ChatGPT correctly. I also uploaded the game to Roblox, titling it One Hour Roblox Game, and I added the API services so you could actually save your data when you leave. I then had ChatGPT make me a new win part script that actually resets you to spawn when you do touch it. Now let's test this out by touching the win part, see if it teleports us back, and it actually does teleport us back. Now we want it to reset our speed also every time we touch the win part. Simply ask ChatGPT for that script, and then they're going to tell us exactly how we implement that script into the game. 
Also, I do want to mention now that this is no way to learn how to script. I'm sure it does actually help if you're not just copy and pasting like me, but if you actually do want to learn, I would pay attention to YouTube videos or other people or maybe actually go for a class for that. But this is not a good way to learn just copy and pasting if you want to actually know how to script. We're coming up on the last 20 minutes, so I had to ask ChatGPT how to fix the wind and speed not matching. ChatGPT ended up giving me a code that actually worked for that, but now I'm not gaining speed every one second. It's actually working now. Hooray! One speed every second, or we're getting 41 or 42 speed every second since we had one speed before, and now we have 41 wins, meaning we will get 42 speed every second. Since I had about 18 minutes left, I went ahead for the rebirthing system. I've never worked with GUIs before, so this would be a first for me, and ChatGBT made it so easy to learn. Because I'm super lazy and didn't want to read, I actually ended up spending almost all the rest of the time on this. Eventually, I actually did get it working, but it would disappear and it would only show up once you had 50 wins. So I needed to write something on the screen that said you need 50 wins to rebirth one time. I was a little proud of myself. I had 50 wins equals one rebirth on the screen, and actually when you get 50 wins, it pops up on the screen so you can actually rebirth. I actually wanted to get a end game working leaderboard in for wins or rebirths or something along the lines of that because I know one speed every second would not be a good leaderboard, so either wins or rebirth would be the idea for this leaderboard. I only had around one minute left, which I didn't realize at the time, sadly, so I actually ended up running out of time before getting it to work. I spent around eight minutes trying to get this to work, and I never could figure out why the text wouldn't pop up on the part. Okay, guys, now let's actually test the one-hour game. Go ahead and see how good is it. Now, it actually does save our stuff, so we already have some stuff. As you see, we're super fast. We couldn't get the leaderboard working in time, sadly, but maybe if this video can get like 50 likes, I'll do this for like 24 hours. I will work on this whole game, and I'll spend a day working on this game, and uh, when we make it to the end, we get, we get a win. I also added this little parkour thing. It took me another like 5 minutes, but we're gonna we're gonna say this video, uh, this was took me an hour to make. It's getting real hard to do this while being so fast, so... We gotta just start jumping. As you can see, this game is not the best right now. I'm gonna get the 50 wins and I'll be right back. And now that we got 50 wins, we can see this rebirth button. For when we click on it, we get one rebirth and then we can just get our speed up. And when we click on this button over here, we should get two wins now. It works, hooray.